So today we're going to be talking about AGL Vegito. What do we have here? He is a world tournament reward card that comes out in September of 2017 on JP and November of 2017 on global. So they don't really come out too far apart on each version at the time. So with that being said, let's talk about him. So uh, Vegito first SSR, he comes out during the Legion skill slash Dokkan event meta. Yeah, because Battle Road doesn't come out till a full month later. And yeah, let's talk about this guy, see exactly what he's doing, because I don't know what he's doing. So his leader skill, AGL type 2 key and 50% to HP and attack. And his super attack, that being Big Bang attack, he uh, raises all allies attack by 20% for one turn. And his passive, that being level difference, 100% defense as the first attacker in a turn. And he gives super class allies 30% attack. Now granted, the support is nice. He can give up to 50% attack from his super attack effect to his uh, passive. But um, for your leader skill slash Joe kind of meta, the only thing you're using him for is his support. That is it. Yeah, just for showcase. This is like a showcase unit just for his support. Um, that's, that is all. Uh, was physical Super Vegito at the time? Let me just double check. I, I just don't remember when this guy came out. I think Halloween. Um, yeah. <laughs> the fucker doesn't come out a full he doesn't come out until a full month later <laughs> so this guy's on no leader skill well does when does kefla come out i absolutely do not remember when kefla came out when did she come out yeah so she doesn't come out to another two months later yeah yeah she doesn't come out to another two months later okay wow so agl um Gio, yeah he this this boy is sitting on no there's no category teams yeah now could you warrant running this guy on uh agl super saiyan for vegeta's team possibly because he gives up to 50 percent attack support but that is about it yeah not much more to say here um using him for the leader skill slash so kind of meta that's pretty much it um so uh continuing on over to uh vegeto agl vegeto when he gets his awakening so um he gets his awakening during the what's that wow hold on he gets his awakening he gets his awakening, I think that's about two months after his, I think that's two months after um, Saiyan Day. So, uh, so that's the Extreme Super Battle Bro meta. Okay, so um, AGL uh, Vegeta. So what do we have here? So his leader skill is now buffed up to AGL 3 key and 100% of the stats. And his super attack, that being Big Bang Attack Extreme. He gets 30% attack for one turn and raises allies attack by 30 percent for one turn cool and his passive that being whole other level okay so we go from level difference to whole other level 150 percent attack and defense at the start of the turn he gets two key and 150 percent attack and defense and a 70 percent chance to dodge his first attack on the turn nice and he launches a guarantee super when there's a boo saga category enemy of course considering the fact that it's vegeto it makes a whole lot of sense and he gives super class allies 30 percent attack and defense very nice and he gets an additional three percent attack and defense per majin boo saga category ally on team um interesting because we talked about that gone yesterday and i'm pretty sure that he got three percent attack and defense for having specific uh category allies on his team and he gets an additional 50 percent attack when attacking and an additional 20 percent defense up to 100 percent and launches a uh, additional attack that has a 50 percent chance of a super attack so that's just unrestricted okay so specifically for the battle road extreme super battle meta excuse me uh this guy could be ran you could run him only thing is is that he has to and i mean has to dodge you bring this guy up to uh, that versus extreme str that versus extreme str uh battle road extreme super battle road stage um that stage was hitting like a truck back then and if this guy did not dodge with or without an item that shit hurt it hurt like bad so yes, this guy had to dodge all those attacks because those extreme sword battle road enemies did not care if this card had up to what's that? Let's say for whatever reason we have his whole passive active, right? Let's see, uh, 150 percent attack and even start over here, 150 percent attack and even start over there, uh, 30 percent attack and even start over here. Um, so let's see. Let's say you're granted you're running the full Boo Saga um the AGL team, um. Let's see, 100% defense out over here. So in total, let's see, mental math. So we're up to 300% attack and defense, 330% um, attack and defense. Uh, um, let's say post super, 330% attack and defense plus this 50% attack. That's 380% attack and 330% defense. Uh, then we add on this 100%. So that's 380% attack and 
430% defense, I believe. Yeah, because you're adding on this additional attack and defense. So that's yeah, 380% attack and 300, no, it's 380% attack and, and 430% uh, defense. Okay. And you also have to add on this additional 3% attack and defense. For you having those specific characters on the team so yeah just to do the math again 300 attack and defense as well as 330 attack and defense uh and then of course you have 380 attack and up to 430 defense i'm pretty sure that math is correct as well as that i think that's up to 15 percent attack and defense considering that i mean would you count them as himself because it doesn't say self-excluded so that's what's that that's um that's 395% attack. And then that is 445% defense. I think I did that correctly. My mental map is not really all the way there. So someone could correct me down below. Um, It doesn't matter. He's still getting cooked. It does not matter. Even with all that fully built up post super, um, he's getting cooked. Yeah. With or without an item. Those boss, those excuse me bosses those enemies and esbr do not care about this guy's defense yeah he has to dodge could you could he be ran in there absolutely and the main reason he could be ran in there is because of his 70 percent chance to dodge he is tidally locked to that first slot if you do not put this guy inside the first slot he is a dead unit in your team absolutely the best thing about him is his 70 percent chance to dodge this clear cut and simple and then of course we have his support which would be a second best thing about him that is all. Yeah. Um, him double supering almost means nothing. It almost means nothing because he's not getting defense on super inside of his... Uh... Wait. I was talking about his post easy A. Oh, Dean Chip. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, my bad. Let's go back on over to his... Okay. This is where today's meta this. Um, my bad. So, okay. Take all that, guys, and throw that out the window what I just said. What's his post um, easy A defense? Okay, that is. I... Okay. So... What we were just talking about was his post easy A. So uh, I just noticed just now, I am such a dud. Why is he not getting defense on super? Okay, anyways, with all that added up, he could work in today's meta, but he has to dodge. That is all. Yeah. Um. Now let's talk about him for his pre easy A um, during the extreme super battle meta. today. For today's meta, he could work. He has to dodge though. The thing is, is that, does he have a spot on Boo Saga? Like... I mean, this is almost like, you know, um, does he have a spot on Boo Saga? I don't know. I don't know. Does he have a, is, are you running him over, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku? No. Are you running him over Fat Boo? No. Are you running him over STR Super Vegito? No. Are you running him over LR Ultimate Gohan? No. Are you running him over, who else, who else? That's four options so far. Are you running him over this guy who shouldn't even be on Boo Saga? Why are you on Boo Saga? Why are you on <laughs> Why is he on boost? <laughs> He's not supposed to be there. So you're going to tell me the second Broly movie was canon. No character that is on movie heroes should be on a saga category. Because um, with that logic, that means that this guy is canon. When he's not canon. That's the same reason why I complain about um, GoBros being here. Are you going to tell me this unit, who is also from the same unit, who's also from, excuse me, from the same movie as this guy, these two fuckers are from the same movie, you're going to tell me that he belongs on Boo Saga? No! This ain't canon, buddy! Broly's not a part of the story, I hate to break it to you. I mean, you know, Super Broly. Um, but this guy? No! No, no, <laughs> super broly. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, let's see what he's doing for a chain super battle meta. Um, raises allies attack by 25% for one turn, 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, two key and 120% attack and defense, and a 70% chance to dodge his first attack and turn. And he supports super class allies with 30% with attack and defense. Are you running him inside ESBR? Feasible. I would say, could you run him in there? Yes. Would you want to run him in there? No, because those Extreme Sword Battle Road 
um, extreme STR characters back when this guy at first got his awakening, those fuckers were hitting too hard. They were. Those were one of the, that was probably one, one of her, if not the toughest stage out of the first 10 stages of the SPR at the time. I don't know. I, I would probably say it was one of her, if not the toughest one. The Super AGL, those, those extreme STR characters are just hitting so hard, bro. So, um, all right. So you guys remember how I was talking about this guy with his always added up attack and defense for today's meta? Could he get by? Possibly. He just has to dodge. Only issue with this guy is the fact that Boo Saga is a stacked category. We do have a, a lot of good options of Boo Saga. Could, could I say that? I'd probably say so. Yeah. We got physical go tanks. We have in, in Hercule post DZA. You have Dokkan Fest Fat Boo. You have Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who's just a god. You have this the LR Gohan, who's possibly the best unit in the game. I mean, this guy, just him being on Boo Saga, why the hell are we running him? Like, why? Yeah. So uh, for ESBR, can you run him? Yes, but um, just for just for slot one, he has to dodge though. Has to dodge. The best thing about him is that he's he has a seventy percent chance to dodge his first slot, um, and he's also a support type unit that can give up to uh, what's that? That's fifty five percent attack and thirty percent defense post super. But if this guy takes an attack pre easy A with an item up, he's going to take a lot of damage. Because, guess what? He only has two key and 240% attack and defense. Pretty easy, eh? And then up to, like, um, what's that? I don't even remember the number I had for this guy. I think it's, like, what was it? It was 395% attack, I think. And 445% defense. Yeah, that's all that stuff. Percentages added up. I think I got that wrong, but, hey, correct me down below. That's not um counting the super attack uh, post. the uh, Well, I guess, yeah. Because that 30% attack, I didn't add on that. But let's just pretend that doesn't exist. But, yeah, that's the percentages added up from the past. I did add that up post-super because, of course, 50% attack when attacking. So, um, yeah, if you guys just add that on top of that, that's just attack. That's not even defense. But, yeah, this guy has to dodge. Absolutely. Um, so that's about it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Oh, wait, where are my manners? Um, this guy is 200% uh, of these guys that he's on. Why are all these white uh, boxes around my screen? My ad blocker's not working. Um, three two hundred percent leader skills. Uh, I mean, no, no, and uh, no. Uh, okay, maybe Zamasu, Zamasu, because defensive character early on in the fight. But um, you know, you just get lamp blasted, and you hell no. I remember you being a triple support type unit, but no, hell no. Um, so yeah, best link partner. This guy, uh, six key, twenty five percent attack and fifteen percent defense. I gotta get up out of here. That's all. Um, AGL Vegito, solid. Has to dodge though. I'm um, dodge or die. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Join the 24 7 Discord server. A link is down below in the description for you guys who joined today. Leave a like, subscribe, and that is all. Again, <laughs> peace.